こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Jordan, I've been trying to deepen my understanding of English by studying famous quotes and sayings. I've noticed certain words come up often. Can you help me understand why these particular words are frequently used? Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. 
For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, 
Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. Absolutely, Alex. Quotes and sayings often touch on universal themes like love, life, success, and wisdom. Words related to these themes are common because they resonate deeply with many people. For example, love is a universal concept, so it appears frequently in sayings and quotes across cultures. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny 
are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. That makes sense. I've also seen life used a lot. Is there a reason for that? Yes, life is another word that's central to many quotes because it encompasses our existence and experiences. Quotes often aim to offer insights or advice about life, making it a key term. Words like journey, path, and destiny are also common as they metaphorically describe life's nature. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. 
How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. I've noticed wisdom and knowledge come up quite a bit too. How are they usually presented in these contexts? Wisdom and knowledge are often distinguished in sayings and quotes. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. 
Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. Knowledge usually refers to factual information and skills acquired through experience or education, while wisdom is more about the application of knowledge and experience in a meaningful and prudent way. Sayings often emphasize the value of both, suggesting that wisdom comes from living and reflecting on life, not just from book learning. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. 
These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence.
That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. That's insightful. What about words related to success? In quotes about success, words like perseverance, determination, ambition, and goal are prevalent. These reflect the qualities and mindset often deemed necessary to achieve success. Quotes inspire and motivate by highlighting these aspects, suggesting that success is a result of hard work and persistence. It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. 
Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? It's interesting how these sayings use specific words to convey deep meanings. Are there any other commonly used words in sayings or quotes that stand out to you? Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges.
Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. Happiness is another word that frequently appears. It's a universal pursuit, and many quotes explore the sources of happiness or how to attain it. Similarly, fear and courage are common, opposing concepts often mentioned together to discuss overcoming obstacles or challenges. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. This discussion has been really helpful, Jordan. Understanding the common themes and words in sayings has given me a new perspective on learning English and appreciating the wisdom in these phrases. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies.
Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. Exploring sayings and quotes can be a profound way to learn not just language, but also about life's values and philosophies. 
Keep diving into them, and you'll find your vocabulary and understanding of English culture and thought deepening further. もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。